Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Farah Weberg, and I'm here with my success partner, Christine Lupo tonight. And we are so excited to talk to you about how coaching can turn your passion into your paycheck. And I'm here. Oh, I just think I had a little bit of a delay. Am I good? You are good. Sorry, it wasn't starting at first, but okay. now you can go. <laughs> All right. So we're here to t tonight to talk to you about how coaching can turn your passion into your paycheck, and it might not be exactly the way you think. So why don't we get started? So again, my name is Farah Weberg. I have been a coach for about two and a half years. And um, kind of going backwards about, well, <laughs> if you go to the, to the start of the point where I felt like I was needing a change in my life. I was growing my family. Uh, my husband and I got married and we were actually trying to start a family, but we were having difficulty and found out that I had PCOS and it explained a lot of what was going on with me at the time with weight gain and various symptoms that kind of came out of nowhere when I was usually naturally thin. And at the same time, I was actually in a career as an event planner for a kind of in a corporate setting for a law firm. And I had been with them for quite a few years. I had worked in event planning for years prior to that. And I was just at a stage in my life where it wasn't cutting it for me anymore. Initially, I loved event planning because it gave me that creative outlet. And I loved kind of the thrill of putting together an event. But pretty soon as I, you know, we had two children and my, my um, focus was being split and not how I wanted it to be. So I wanted to be more present with my kids and I found myself having to choose them or school functions, choosing work functions over school activities such as programs and parties. And really my heart was with them. I didn't want to be stuck in meetings and working late on nights and weekends with planning events, but that, that was kind of the reality of my life. And my husband was in graphic design at the time. That was his career for many years. And during the recession, it was just a really volatile industry to be in. And suddenly we found ourselves, you know, in a situation we were a single family or a single income family where he lost his job. And we kind of went up and down that road for a number of years because companies kept cutting their designer positions. And so I kept feeling very stuck in my career needed to stay there. My family needed me to continue, even though I was so burned out and miserable, tired of the long hours, tired of the commute, tired of the hectic pace, and tired of always choosing work over my family. And so my physical symptoms with PCOS and my dissatisfaction with my job kind of came to a head at the same point. And I started looking for solutions. I already was kind of drawn to the idea of being an entrepreneur. And at first I thought that had to mean in the events realm because all of my professional experience was in event planning. But I found out about the program 21 Day Fix. It was this great program with 30 minute workouts and it had a nutrition component that taught clean eating and portion control. And it also included Shakeology which is a nutrient dense shake. And I just felt like those three pieces really spoke to me. You know, the Shakeology was an easy meal on the go. So I knew that would help me with my hectic schedule. The quick workouts were the perfect thing I needed. And again, I just really honing in on my nutrition. So I was like, yep, sign me up. I'm going for 21 day fix. And I found out about the discount coach option, which would save me on my future months of Shakeology. So I'm like, hey, why not? I've got nothing to lose. I'm not going to actually coach anyone because clearly I'm still very much on my journey. And you can kind of see some photos there of me. But I you know, went ahead with it. And the more I found out about coaching, the more I was immersed in the community and the positivity from going through a challenge group myself for accountability during my workouts, I just fell in love with just everything about it, helping others and being surrounded by like-minded people and the positivity. It just spoke to me in all ways. And the fact that I could turn it into a career really caught my eye. So I decided to give it a go. 
And after doing coaching in the evenings alongside my day job for about a year and a half, I finally went coaching full time a little over a year ago. And it has been the most amazing decision of my entire life. The fact that I can work at home in my yoga pants and I can, you know, plan my day, I can plan my priorities, I can be there for my family and not have to choose is just incredible. So that is a little bit about my story. Christine, you want to talk about yours? Absolutely. Hi, everybody. I'm Christine Lupo. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about how I actually came into coaching. Um, my story, though similar to Farrah's in ways, is quite different. Um, I was on my own weight loss journey when I discovered my coach. I started following her online for about six months talked to her and kind of was not ready to jump on board right away. Um, and during that time, I was in the process of losing weight and getting up, losing 60 pounds, actually. And I was getting down to that last 10 pounds. And I um, really felt like I needed something more in my life to keep me accountable because I was tired of yo-yo dieting. And um, I knew that I needed to do something so that when I got to my ideal weight, I didn't just start gaining it all back again. Like what was going to keep me accountable? And I was really intrigued, like Farah, with the 21 day fix. Um, I knew I wanted to do at home workouts. I was going through struggles with my own business um, financially. And at the time, I had been doing a boot camp four mornings a week, two mornings a week for four years and paying got awful amounts of money doing it, $200 a month, I think. And it was just something that I was no longer able to fit in my budget. And I knew I needed something that I could do at home. And this just seemed like such a great solution. And so when I finally took the plunge, I signed up as a coach and I signed up as a discount coach because I was cheap and I wanted that discount. And, you know, 25% off all my future products and my Shakeology had me sold to do it that way. Um, and really after I went through my first 21 day challenge group, I realized there was so much more to this whole thing that I joined. The community, the people, um, just having that accountability and watching my coach help people, I wanted to do the same. I wanted to help others the way she had helped me. Um, you know, I had been on this this weight loss journey for a while and I knew that the reason I had been so successful was because of my accountability partners. First starting off with the women I did my boot camp with and then into having these people online um, and being able to work out from home and be able to do it affordably, which I had not been able to do. And it was really becoming a struggle for me to pick between my workout and my workout buddies in the mor my mor morning boot camps versus this option, which was my one first you know, payment to get myself a challenge pack. And then it was up to me. And the amazing thing was I finished my first month and I started my first challenge group and I had five people join me right off the bat and made back my money from my first challenge pack and some. Um, and so my journey was pretty quick because I shared out loud and I, you know, let people in on the journey and what I was doing. And um, so it's been pretty amazing being a coach because it has brought in the income, which I wasn't expecting. I'm a jewelry designer. I had gone through financial struggles. It's kind of a weird thing to even think that I was, that if you look back at who I was three years ago, I would have told you you were crazy if you thought I was going to be a health and fitness coach. Artsy fartsy type that I am, not kind of into that whole like, oh, health and fitness. What does that look like? Um, I don't fit that mold. But sure enough, I did. It was just average women, you know, wanting to better themselves and help other women better themselves too. And through that, I found this amazing community of women. And I've had these amazing adventures. And as you can see in some of the pictures, um, last year, Beachbody sent me on a cruise and I went cliff jumping in Jamaica, which was amazing. Um, to a picture of me and all my girl boss friends down in Destin on a retreat and another picture. It's just been this incredible journey and of finding myself in the process and helping others. And in the process of doing that, bringing in more income for my family and having a stable income from the beach body coaching that helps cover my, my part of the expenses at home and grocery bills and be able to pay for my daughter to dance, which we all know is a very expensive hobby. And so 
it's just for me been an amazing journey and and something that I want to share with others and be able to give them that same financial uh, piece that has been a big part of it. The way I look at it now, I get paid to work out and take care of myself and it's such a win-win. So that's a little bit about my story. Awesome. Thanks, Christine. So um, just wanted to dig in a little bit more of what is coaching. And I know we both kind of covered it a little bit in our stories, but here's just kind of like a list of some things that encompass what we do as coaches. So first of all, as we both mentioned, we work or you work on your healthy living journey. And that can mean so many different things. It's different for every single person. For me, it was trying to get control of my PCOS and you know, really committing to working out. Um, one thing I didn't mention is that um, part of the issue of me getting into a routine like this is I hated fitness. <laughs> I hated gyms. I avoided them like the plague. And so it was a pretty big deal for me to find a program that would work for me and that I could do from home. And so that's what worked for me, something that was compact, I could do from home. Others really love to dig in deep with like the longer programs like P90X and you know, really, you know, just commit and like work out every day. That is not me. I'm more of a, like a five day a week kind of girl, <laughs> but whatever the journey is, you know, some people need more help with their nutrition. There's that support system. And when you're working on your own healthy living journey, you are then sharing what works for you with the other people in your life, whether that be through social media platforms or your friends, your family, your coworkers, and when you're being authentic and you're sharing what works for you, you're inspiring other people that maybe just needed that little push to get started on their journey too. And then you go through and you're inspiring and you're supporting those people as they start on their journey. And this could be, again, people that are already in your life. It could be people you've never even met, but they are out there and there's so many people and we are a testament to that, that just need that little push. Because that's really the hardest part is taking that first step. Um, everything that we do as coaches, we learn through trainings. So we have trainings and tools. They are all free, and they'll provide everything you need to become a success. But the caveat to that is you have to be willing to work hard and to implement what you've learned. So this is not, you know, a quick success kind of business. This is, you know, for people that are really wanting to commit to it, and you basically get out of it what you put into it. So if you're willing to commit and to learn how to be effective as a coach, products, and use the tools that are provided to us, again, for free, you can really start to do well in this business. You're able to just grow your business and at your pace. So maybe you are a stay-at-home mom, and you're just looking for a side job to bring in a little extra income to cover some of those extra expenses for your family. Okay, maybe that's you and you would just sit down and work after your kids go to bed at night, maybe put in, you know, an hour or two, and that's totally fine. That brings in a great side income and can be very helpful. Maybe you're someone who is currently stuck in the corporate rat race like I was, and you are really just looking to get that escape and to make a business that is yours and is your full time pursuit and you can get rid of the corporate life. Well, you know, speaking for myself, after my kids would go to bed every night, again, I would sit down. I would pro put probably two to three hours in. I would work on my lunch breaks because I was really driven that I wanted to make this a full-time business. Other people, they're just, you know, they love what they do during the day, and they really just want something to be on the side, and they work less time. And it really, as I said, can be what you want. There's no requirement for how you grow your business and the pace that you go. It's really what works for you in your life and your family. A big focus, guys, is personal development. That's one thing I love so much about coaching is there's such an emphasis. It's what we call one of our vital behaviors is that we spend time every single day focusing on growing ourselves and our mindset. And that can be listening to audiobooks or podcasts, um, just sitting down and reading an old-fashioned book. But you know, maybe it's going to like a conference or a seminar, but there are so many different ways you can go about it. And there's so many different areas you can focus on. It really is up to the individual where you feel like you need the most growth. Some people it's confidence, some people it's positivity, some people it's, you know, 
having an open mind to manifesting if you're into that kind of thing. There's so many different areas, but it's something that is such an integral part of what we do as coaches that you'll find yourself just growing so much as a person along with your business. Um, so a couple things that we do um, on the regular is we run free groups to provide value to others. We really want to serve the people that are in our network and in our lives. And so it really is up to the individual coach how often you do them and what the topics are. A common one that both Christine and I run are uh, free week-long clean eating groups, which are really helpful and kind of teach the basics as an introduction. And it gets people really engaged with the idea of that clean eating is actually actually manageable and possible even if you're brand new to it. Um, other people do groups on organizations, some do a meditation group, it really varies. But they're just kind of a fun way to expand your network, especially if you don't have a lot of people in your network and meet a lot of really cool interesting people that you can just reach out and help. And then a big focus is our monthly accountability challenge groups and Christine and I both talked about that. That's kind of how I got my foot in the door and found out how much I love the idea of being a coach is just that environment of a month long um, challenge group is what we call them where you're getting motivation and fitness tips and that check in accountability that your coaches provide and keep you on track with your your wellness goals for the month. And that's just such an awesome way, not just for the challengers involved, but for our, ourselves as coaches to make sure that we're keeping ourselves on track. And within those groups, too, we continue to share our journey when we do our workouts for the day or what we ate to kind of give people an idea of what is possible. And then finally, um, we also grow a team of other people who are also looking for positivity and freedom in their lives. And that is just one of the best parts I feel of coaching outside of the obvious of being able to help and serve others is the community that we build as coaches within our teams. You know, we, there's people from all walks of life, guys. <laughs> there's not one person, just as Christine said, she's a creative, I'm a creative, but there are doctors, accountants, teachers, like people from every walk of life you can imagine, um, military moms, and we somehow all come together in this melting pot of personalities and positivity of people that are just, we're all looking for more in our lives. And we found it in coaching and it's just amazing how much we can grow and learn from each other. So Christine? Yep, I'm here, sorry, I had to turn the mute <laughs> off. <laughs> so why coaching might exactly be what you've been looking for. Again, like we said, you get to connect with like-minded people, just people that are trying to better themselves and be on that journey. I've never been more amazed by being around women and being so uplifting than I have from like this coaching community that we're in. Um, you know, it's not always the way with women to be so, uh, what's the word, Farah, tied to one another and lifting each other up and positive and you know, we can both say from having been in a retreat in a house with 26 women where there wasn't one sideways look the whole time, it's, this is what it's really about. It's like connecting with these like-minded women and um, and just building this beautiful thing together. You know, if that's something that you're looking for, um, I know it was something that I had missing in my life was having women that, you know, treated each other with kindness. So that was one of the beautiful benefits of this. Um, you want to be a part of something amazing and uplifting. Again, like the community, like I was saying, this is kind of the same emphasis there. Um, and then back again to emphasizing our emphasis on personal growth. Do you feel like you need more out of your life? Is there something missing? Are there things that hold you back? Do you have, you know, team members of ours that are myself being introverted, fair as well, um, that have grown so much through this thing? Two years ago, Fair and I would not be on a webinar right now doing this. We didn't have the, uh, hadn't, had a, hadn't achieved the personal growth yet to feel comfortable doing these things. And through that, we have grown. Um, the, uh, there are, we have fellow coaches that have um, social anxiety issues um, that now, you know, are running these amazing teams with women. And there's just so many great ways to grow in this business and find yourself and really become the person that you are. Um, accountability on your own health and living, healthy living journey. I know that was a big one for me, and I talked about that earlier. Um, just having that accountability, having something that was going to keep me on my journey, on my path. And I knew that by helping others, I would have to help myself, and I'd have to show up 
because they were going to be counting on me. So if you need that extra level of accountability for yourself, for your own journey, this is the way to do it. Um, uh, focus on serving others. You know, again, you want to help people. Uh, if you have a servant's heart, like Fair and I do, and you just want to help people, this is the business. Um, it's amazing how many people I've been able to help on this journey, and uh, you know, I've had clients lose up to sixty plus pounds um, in my accountability groups. And there's nothing better than getting these messages in your inbox from from challengers that have been in your groups and how you've helped them and in their own growth and. So discovering and sharing products and programs that change lives. Again, changing lives, these pro these programs and products are amazing. And we get to be, we basically get to be the ones to first test them out. New programs come out, we try them out, we figure out what the best ones are. Um, we kind of become experts in them all because we have an amazing library that Beachbody gives us for so little money. We get the entire library of Beachbody programs um, that was ever created. And if you're familiar with P90X and like we were saying, 21 Day Fix and um, T25 and all the amazing programs that Beachbody has created over the last, uh, what, 15 years, Fair? Or no, longer than that, late 90s, I guess is when yeah, we started. Yeah. Um, so um, I guess almost 20 years worth of programming. Um, and you get to know what the right things are to help your clients with. Some people like to dance. Some people, you know, love their cardio. Other people love their weightlifting. The beautiful thing is there is something for everybody and you're able to help everyone because that person who doesn't like to work out, there are some amazing dancing programs that will get them moving and help them get to their goals. Um, you own your own business without the overhead or the high risk. As somebody who has a second business and somebody who started her own business, um, my first business, the amount of money I won't even go into to start that business and the risk that I took on and actually did get taken down by the recession. Um, you don't have that with this business. There is no risk involved. And that's a beautiful thing, but the potential for income is more than I could have ever possibly imagined in my um, my own business that I had started myself. And you know, it's like Farrah said, if you're just a mom who wants to make a couple hundred dollars a week, or your mom who wants to make thousands of more dollars a week, the the, the, the sky's the limit. It's up to you. It's what you want to put into it. And that's pretty amazing. Um, we should say, because we do talk about our income here, that Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success. But, you know, the sky is the limit. Um, Part-time hours and willingness to learn is success. And that's absolutely it. You don't have to put in 40 hours a week to be successful with this business just a few hours a day or one hour a day. We even know from our own upline coach who started her business as a college student at one hour a day and turned it into a multi six figure business. It's pretty amazing what the opportunities are. Do you have anything to add there, Farah? <laughs> no, just that I agree with all of it. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, no guarantee that there's that level level of success. Beach, Beach Valley does not guarantee that level of success, but it's it's there for those that want to take it. Absolutely. All right, there's a echo. Maybe you should. I will mute. Yeah, I don't know why, guys. Sorry about that. Anyone who's listening. So okay, so what does a successful coach do? Well, we kind of, you know, addressed a lot of that, but I'll just kind of run through this here again for you. So we really focus on building a strong belief in the business and the products by making them a part of our everyday lives. So again, like we talked about, we each kind of found a program. Actually, it's the same program that we <laughs> call our soulmate, which is 21 Day Fix. But there are so many programs and so many people who love them all for various reasons. And making that a part of our lives and what we share with people along with Shakeology, which I am just telling you that is my saving grace <laughs> that even even though I'm not working the corporate life and the the crazy work schedule anymore it is still like my job meal of the day and so having something that I know is totally natural and filled with superfoods and is kind of like my multivitamin in a shake form 
has just been incredible. And so I shout that baby from the rooftops. I share it with everyone I can. My kids get excited when they see I'm making the vegan chocolate because to them it's like a chocolate milkshake. So, so many people in my life have actually started Sh Shakeology too because they needed that quick, easy nutrition. And I just love that I was able to make an impact like that. So that's just what I mean about like having that strong belief and love in the products. You inspire others to get started too because they see how possible it is. And I will tell you, I am like one of like the most normal, typical <laughs> mom types you could think of. Yes, I have things that make me unique, but I mean, there's nothing like crazy, you know, special or different about me. So it's, you know, when I share with people, they know that they can relate to me. I'm down to earth and I'm just like the average mom. And if I can make it work, so can they. So again, we talked about heavy emphasis on personal growth and mindset. Again, that's such a key part of being a success in this business is being willing to grow. I will say I used to, um, you know, back in my college days, I worked in a bookstore and I would always make fun. I say this was such embarrassment now but I would make fun of the people that would shop in the personal development and the self-help section because I thought it was a bunch of hooey I just thought it was you know kind of silly and now the fact that most of my reading list is related to personal growth and development I have to eat my words because man is it effective it is so critical it has changed so much for me uh, as Christine mentioned, I am also an introvert. The thought of public speaking makes me want to be a little bit sick. <laughs> and the fact that I can be here today doing a webinar for all of you and not be worried about it is a huge testament to how personal growth has helped me. And of course, in so many areas, and you know, I won't go into all of them, but everyone kind of has their sticking points and the things that they need to grow in. And the fact that we focus so much on that is huge. Um, again, just being willing to learn. You need to be teachable. So going into this business, think you know everything, especially maybe you're already a business owner and you probably earned or learned a ton that can be applicable to your coaching business. But of course, every industry has their own little idiosyncrasies that are, you know, you need to learn and develop to be able to be successful. So just being willing to learn and then implement what you learned because it's not like an automatic thing just watching a training doesn't automatically equal success so it takes time it takes work but this is absolutely something again that is manageable you guys this isn't like a 10 hour a day job this is something very manageable in you know one to three hours a day or more depending on what you really want to put into it and how quickly you want to grow and then those things that you learn you start to teach your team and then they learn through duplication. So they start becoming a success through watching you lead by example. And then, of course, we support and serve our clients unconditionally. You know, we are living the example by showing the right behaviors to emulate, but we also show that we're not perfect. We show when we struggle, we show when we miss a workout or went for the pizza instead of the salad. <laughs> and, and we show them that it's okay and that this journey is not about perfection. It's about progress. And we just continue helping them even beyond that 30 day challenge group. It's not just about a temporary thing, guys. It's not about making a quick sale and then sending them on their merry way. We are there to support them throughout the entire process as long as they need us. Um, and then past the challenge group, we do check ins. We just want to make sure that people stay on the road to success because sometimes when you lose that accountability group, you kind of fall off the tracks a little bit. So we want to make sure that our clients can succeed in the best way possible. Um, to be a successful coach, you absolutely have to be willing to step outside your comfort zone. And again, talking about how two years ago, I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined I would have done a webinar <laughs> without freaking out. That is a testament right there. I mean, there's plenty that we do within these roles that pushes us outside our comfort zone. I mean, for real, sharing photos of ourselves before and after doing a workout program and especially like from where we began our journeys, but also the times that we've fallen off a little bit and maybe we've gained some of the weight back and having to share those photos and our, our vulnerability, it's, you know, that's a huge thing. And that can be really scary for people, especially if you aren't used to being transparent like that so publicly. But what I'm going to tell you is for every ounce of fear that you have about putting yourself out there, 
there are 10 times more people that you have just inspired to get started who maybe couldn't have done it otherwise. And so by sharing your journey so willingly and frequently, you really never know who you can inspire. And I just think that is so amazing. Christine? <laughs> I'm here, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So what if I'm not perfect? So myth, you have to be perfectly fit and look like a fitness model and be a, a successful coach. Well, let me tell you, that is false. Um, we are all on our own health, uh, healthy living journey. It's not about perfection, but progress. Being normal makes you relatable to your friends, family, and followers. So a little bit more about my journey. Here's my pictures. Um, the picture on the left um, is me at my top weight of 195 pounds. I took that picture for myself. I never in a million years thought that I would share that on social media. When I took that picture, I didn't even know about Beachbody or this whole coaching thing. I was a person who maybe on occasion posted a picture of my kids on Facebook, rarely, um, for my for friends and family, for the grandparents and whatnot. But I was more of a Facebook stalker. I did not put much out there. And I took that picture for myself because I was doing my boot camp and I just knew that like having a picture to compare my weight loss was going to help me along the way. Along the journey after becoming a coach, I got down to the lightest weight I had been in ever in my adult life. And that's the middle picture. And, you know, through this journey, I had to realize that even though I got there and then slid backwards after hitting 40 and when my hormones started acting up, I had to keep sharing. By sharing, people realized I was human. Um, you know, I, I'm 10 pounds heavier now than I was, but it's okay. You know, we're not, it's the, the, the journey isn't a straight line. Um, the difference is I didn't find my way back to that girl on the left. You know, this journey has kept me going forward even when I start to slide backwards, you know, and I catch myself and keep moving forward and sharing that journey and being real and letting people know that this happens and they're not alone because we all know that this is what's going on. You know, our bodies need us to adjust things from time to time, you know, like, like the, for instance, I went on my health and fitness journey at the age of 38, knowing everybody told me you're going to turn 40 and it's going to become that much harder. And I was sitting there looking at 60 pounds that need to come off. And I was like, I need to do this now. And so during my um, 38th year on this planet and into my 39th, I lost that weight. And um, and sure enough, I hit 40 and what had been working stopped working. And I put on that 10 pounds. And I remember the first time I had to share that and go out on social media and be like, oh, guess what? I kind of slid backwards. It was hard. But then people were like, you know, coming out of the woodwork saying how relatable it was. And, and they were so thankful that I shared that and that they knew they weren't alone. And again, I shared that picture over there on the left of myself when I started my journey that I never thought I would share. And now it's no big deal. The idea of that would have made the person three years ago um, want to go throw up, <laughs> basically. Just the idea of it. And I remember when I posted that first transformation picture, my own coach said to me, you know, afterwards, I was like, that was awful. And she goes, really? Have you gone and looked at the comments? And I was like, no, I walked away and I went and looked. And within minutes, people were coming in and talking about how inspiring it was. And that's like I said, people, you know, this is what it's all about. Inspiring others, letting them know they're not alone. Because when friends see and, and, and your followers see you and see a real person doing this, not something that you're, you know, we've all seen those advertisements and you're like, that's not real. You know, the Jenny Craig's and the whatnot. We're real people. These are real results. And it really, you know, it's amazing what we can do on this journey by sharing and being real. Sorry, I got a little long winded there. <laughs> no, that was great. That was great. And I just, I love your story, Christine. And I, I mean, I obviously found it very inspiring for myself, but like so many other people have too. It's just, such a great part of coaching. So 
we talked about all the things that coaching is. So here are a few things that it isn't. And just imagine I'm sitting next to you right now in disbelief <laughs> at these things with that look on my face. Um, first of all, coaching is not a pyramid scheme. I know that is an ongoing question that comes up. Pyramid schemes, there is no exchange of products or services. This is not that because clearly there are products, there are workout programs, there are supplements, there are shakes, and services come from the coaching side of things. So clearly not a pyramid scheme. This is a legitimate, viable business, not anything to worry about. Uh, it's not a get rich quick scheme either, guys. We talked about how if you want to be, you know, earning an actual income from coaching, you do need to put in the work. So this isn't something where you, you know, put in an hour every couple weeks and then rake in thousands of dollars. It doesn't work that way. But making a sustainable income is easier than you would think. So some people say, I have no free time, Farah, to grow a business. Well, that's what I thought too. But I... I you know, was so bound and determined to make this my full-time career. I worked my 40 to 50 hour a week event planning job. And then at night I put in, you know, usually about three hours and some time on the weekends working on my coaching business. Now that's not for everyone. Again, you know, some people don't want to put in that kind of time and that's totally fine. It's not a requirement. And you, again, get out of it what you put into it. But for people that are, are looking to just earn like a side or supplementary income, very easy to do in minimal amount of time each day. Or if you're wanting to push it harder, you get creative and you find the time if that's what you're after. But every, I'm just telling you, it's all about reallocating <laughs> your, your time. You know, oftentimes it's easy for things to kind of fill up your day and suddenly you do feel like you have no free time to devote to anything. And if this is something that's important to you, you really want to have the ability to pursue your goals and your dreams. There are probably things in your life that can go to the back burner for a while to give yourself the opportunity to focus on. So do I have to sell? Okay, again, I think we kind of covered how coaching is not about selling. We're not out there pushing products on people. We are sharing our journeys. We're sharing what has worked for us. We're inspiring people by doing that. And then we have conversations with them. And what works for us doesn't necessarily work for every single person we're talking to. But we discuss after we've learned the ins and outs of the products, we find out what their needs are, what their limitations, what has worked for them in the past. And we find the perfect fit. That is what we're trying to do. We're sharing so we can inspire and motivate people on their journey to take that next step. It's not about selling a bunch of product. You don't stock your product. You don't ship your product. It's not about that. And that's one thing I love so much about our company is they do all of that busy work for us. We get to just focus on helping people. Um, some people think it's too expensive. Absolutely not. <laughs> we'll go into the kind of the ins and outs in a couple minutes here, but it really is not something you have to have like any kind of overhead. There's not like thousands dollars of investment that you have to put into starting your coaching business. It is so affordable, you guys. And what you'll love most about it is that you get the, to reap the full benefit of the tiny investment you have to put into it. There's no nagging, you know, the people in your life to join. I mean, who you choose to reach out to is up to you, but in no way does the company or either of us advocate that you are starting to bug all the people in your life to sign up as a coach or to use the products. It's really how you choose to present yourself in the business. And, you know, we hope that most people do it in an ethical way where you're not alienating people in your life. There are some people who don't. And, you know, to be quite honest, there are a lot of, you know, small business owners out there that really take a different tactic and they're, you know, can be some sometimes kind of pushy or you find yourself added to groups that you didn't want to be in on Facebook and I could go on and on. But, you know, if you're running a business that you are proud of, you, you basically want to approach it the way you hope people would treat you. And so nagging people or pushing product is not what this is about at all. Um, there are no contracts. You know, you sign up as a coach, you can quit at any time. There's no obligation to stay within it. And no, you don't lose any investment other than your own personal products that you've used yourself. 
Um, some people think it's not a real job. You know, I think we've really been trained through the years of, you know, everyone working corporate jobs and that's like the American dream or, you know, working the typical nine to five. That does not have to be the way it is, guys. Just because this is maybe a little bit outside of the box of what people are used to doesn't make it not legitimate. This is definitely a very viable job that you can earn an income from ongoing for many years to come if you're willing to put the hard work into it. And another awesome thing, we don't have to do home parties unless you want to. Obviously, that's up to you, but it is not part of the structure of what we do. There are no sales quotas to hit. This is entirely what you want to make it. And I absolutely love that. And especially as a new coach, knowing that I wasn't have to, going to have to hit the ground running if I didn't want to. I could take my time and learn and not have to have the pressure of meeting specific goals was amazing. And it actually helped me to reach further and push myself more for personal goals because I didn't feel that pressure. I keep on losing that button. <laughs> what makes Beachbody different? Um, Beach body is different. Our focus is to improve people's lives physically and financially. You know, we aren't looking to, um, like Farrah said, just push products on people and then walk away. Um, the community and and our priceless free trainings and opportunities. We've already talked about these things already, but they are so important. That community spirit and becoming a part of a team of um, mostly women working together to do this thing and and be on this journey it's is a pretty amazing um that's not what you're going to find across the board there's no pushy or you're not going to have a coach above you wanting you to do more like Farah said we're a community we all go at our own pace there's no expectation of what you do with this business um it's what you want out of it um you know, the philosophy, again, personal growth, balance and, and balance are the center of a healthy life. And they're so important in this in beach body. It is one of our four vital behaviors. And we've used that word already. Beach body's four vital behaviors are, you know, it are the personal, you know, personal growth is personal development, um, being a product of the product, meaning working out, you know, inviting people and recognition and recognition, recognizing our challengers for their growth, recognizing our teammates for doing well and just being community with each other. Um, we are with our clients for the long haul, not a quick sale. We're not looking to sell you a product and then disappear. We, as, as coaches, we want to help our clients and be there for as long as they need us. Um, that's where you, this business is not for you if you're not interested in helping people. But if it, you are, this is the place to be. Um, and Christina, if, if I could just like insert just for a second, um, yes. that's, that's part of why Beachbody decided to create the coaching opportunity because they were a company where they ever, you know, created this business opportunity, but they just wanted to be able to reach as many people with their products and have that support system, that personal support system for them versus just buying something online and then there's no one to help you see it through. Okay. They realized that products were sitting on people's shelves collecting dust and that by having somebody there to support you and hold you accountable and be there to um, with you on that journey was going to have more people getting results from their products. And, you know, it's funny because our CEO doesn't even like the word MLM. He doesn't like to think of that as part of what we are. We are people helping people. We are that is as simple as it is. It has nothing to do with the, the normal idea, you like I said, it's not, there's no sales quotas or things like that. It's just about helping people. If that be, you know, four people a year or four people a week or four people a month, you know, it is what you want it to be. Um, it's not about being an expert. Um, and, and of course, like for some coaches, like we were saying, some are just discount coaches. They don't, they don't do any selling. They're just doing it to get their own discount on the product and be a part of the community. Um, and then of course you don't have to be an expert. Um, it's about being human and offering support. I'm not a health and fitness expert. I'm a jewelry designer. You know, there is not a health and fitness expert and we don't claim to be the, 
Beachbody are the experts. They're the they're the experts in fitness. They're the experts in nutrition, and they give us the tools to pass along to our clients to help them. So we are just uh, we are basically um, advocates of this. And what would you say, Farah? Just um, I mean, we're, yeah, we're advocates. We're the proponents of these programs. We learn about them, and we. Yeah, I mean, we're really, we're kind of like advocating for the products, but we're really on the side of the clients and making sure that even if they try a program and it's not quite the right thing, that we work with them to find what is the right fit. Yes, and the Beachbody keeps on making it easier and easier for us every year because now, like I said earlier, we have the entire library and our clients have the entire library. It isn't like back in the day when P9DX was like over $200 on an infomercial now for less than what people were buying p90x they can have it all <laughs> so it's pretty amazing what beachbody has done because their mission really is also say like we said it, their mission is to stop the trend of obesity and um and helping and having people help each other do that so through their products all right what do we have up next all right, all right. <laughs> oh sorry i'm kind of echoey here again oh, um so basically we kind of covered the gamut of everything about coaching. Now we just want to talk to you guys briefly on like, okay, how do you get started? How complicated is this? And this is something that is probably the simplest thing we discussed all night. So the easiest way to get started is by investing in yourself with our all access challenge pack. And so we've alluded to this a little bit um, our online platform it's called Beachbody on demand and we like to refer to that as the Netflix of fitness it includes the entire program library every single workout program that Beachbody has ever released in the history of a company plus any new releases that come out this year are all available on this platform and anywhere that you are that has Wi-Fi, any device, so it could be your smartphone, it could be your tablet, it could be your laptop, it could be your TV if you have that capability. Um, you can take it, I mean, I use it at home, Beach Fire and Demand, I pull it up on my TV, I have a Roku device, piece of cake, I don't have to deal with fumbling with DVDs in and out of the DVD player. Um, when I travel, I take it with me, so I've got my laptop and I just set it up in the hotel room. It's so really great, especially for people who travel a lot for work. It's just awesome. And it's great, too, that you can take it wherever you want. If you want to go work out outdoors, if you want to go to the gym, some people really like that gym setting and want to bring it with them, or they want to use the equipment at the gym for a program like Body Beast. It's perfect for that. Um, so anyway, that gets you annual access to that Beachbody On Demand streaming platform. Every program. It includes your... First 30 meals of Shakeology, which we talked about earlier. Again, I call it my dumb meal of the day. I am in love with vegan chocolate. It's my current addiction, but I sure love cafe latte as well. And there's vanilla and strawberry and greenberry, a variety of flavors. Um, and actually, we're waiting to hear about announcements for some new flavors this year. So we're pretty excited about that. But the great thing about Shakeology, there's not one wasted ingredient in there. It's not like other shakes where it's packed full of fillers and chemicals and artificial ingredients and sugar. This is straight up nutrients that your body needs and a lot of times in our typical diet that we can't get in one day. So that's why I call it my multivitamin. But every single thing in there is good for you. And it's delicious too. You'd think, okay, it probably tastes like a salad in a glass. It absolutely does not. Like I said, it tastes like a chocolate malt to me and my kids love it. So I usually have to hide when I'm fixing my Shakeology and make them their own later. <laughs> um, and then the last piece you get with your challenge pack are the fixed portion control containers. So this actually originated as part of the 21 day fix system, which again is 30 minute workouts and it focuses on on clean eating portion control nutrition so the containers have been such a huge hit and a great tool for people having success with their nutrition that they've included it with another or a number of our other programs like country heat and I can't remember if hammer and chisel included it um, maybe Christine you can pipe in some of the others that included it on yeah, everything since 21 day fix pretty much almost has it um, hammer and chisel and then of course like the new quarter force Mm -hmm. Yes, Court of Wars, 21. 
It doesn't matter what program people are doing. That's what they're using for their nutrition now. Yeah. So you automatically get that included with your pack. They're super handy. And I don't have a picture here to show you, but they're basically color coded containers, which are each assigned to a specific food group. And then based on the calorie count you want to hit daily based on your goals, it will tell you how many containers of each food group you get per day. It makes it super simple, easy for anyone to follow. They're great to store your food in. And honestly, it's, it takes all the guesswork out. It's not about counting points or counting every single calorie you put into your mouth. Nobody wants to feel controlled like that. It makes it very approachable. Um, then the next piece beyond, you know, the investment yourself with your all access challenge pack is a simple 1595 monthly coach office fee. And so this includes your personal websites. You have one that's general for all of Beachbody and one that's specific to Shakeology. And it includes all of the corporate trainings. Um, of course, we also have like a, a weekly call that usually features like the the upper echelons of Beachbody, but also we hear from, from other successful coaches within the organization. And there's a multitude of other trainings that are available to us, local events, annual conferences. Um, that's, those are all obviously additional costs to your $15.95 monthly coach office fee, but you hear about all of those news and upcoming events also within your um, office platform, which is covered in that fee. Um, you get access to coach relations support, which is kind of like an amped up version of customer support. It's like your direct pipeline. They're always available and ready to deal with problems. I have, I mean, honestly, I have had I don't even know if I personally have had a problem since I started coaching, but just knowing that, you know, there every once in a while, you know, companies aren't perfect and things happen that they are on top of it right away and they go above and beyond and they, they serve us just like they do our customers, but we get that extra special touch being in the, in the front of the line. Um, you get a 25% discount on all your products and that uh, comes after your first initial investment of your challenge pack, but every single month going forward, continuing on Shakeology, you get that 25% discount. And you guys, that adds up very quickly, that savings. Um, it's just, it's incredible, like how much that can save you per month. And it really makes that monthly shake order and what you really, the cost breakdown per day of having those shakes, it makes it like a no brainer. I mean, it's less than what you'd spend on a latte. So, that we have and honestly again if you start you find you know what this really just isn't for me it's not what I thought it was you can cancel you can cancel at any time there are no contracts there's no like equipment and products that you've had to stockpile and now you're out thousands of dollars it's nothing like that all you've invested is in yourself with you know access to the platform and some you know superfood meals for a month it's you know, pretty straightforward. So if it's within 30 days that you decide this isn't for you, you can get a refund. Even if you drink every single bit of that Shakeology throughout the month, they have a bottom of the bag guarantee. So you can still get that refund. Um, it's, you know, not too common, obviously that people cancel right away, but sometimes that is just the case. So just know for peace of mind, absolutely. You are not locked into anything. You can walk away at any time. So, okay, so stop living in fear and doubt and start living a life of your dreams. Let your free, happy, and healthy self shine. And that's exactly it. If you're ready to take that plunge and be a part of this and find your best self, we are here and we are ready to welcome you onto our team. Absolutely. So again, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do to get started now is just contact either Christina or myself, or if there's another coach who invited you to this event tonight, just reach out to them, say, Hey, I'm ready to go. I want to do this. Or if you have additional questions, you know, feel free, you know, to, to reach out again to us or to the coach who invited you. Make sure that you are making a well informed decision. But I just have to say, I'm so excited to have all of you join us on this journey. We really hope that this is inspiring to you and provided some good information. I want to tell you that no matter where you're coming from or where you're started, no matter what your background or experience is in, coaching really can provide a huge benefit and a 
transform the lives of anyone who decides to put in the work and are willing to commit to serve and help other people. And it has just been so life changing for us. And we are so excited to be able to show you the possibilities we'll have for your life too. Anything else, Christine? <laughs> Just thank you all for coming. And again, for sharing your time with us this evening. We know that time is precious and we're happy that you were willing to give us some of yours. All right. Good night, guys. Night.